Hey, what's up, y'all? This is KB Davey. I'm right down here at the 3rd Avenue Village in Chula Vista where me and Cam both spent $45 to experience a taste of third. Was it worth it? Well, I'm going to get to that. But before we do, we're going to let you get a little taste of what we tasted and then let you know what new things we found out about 3rd Avenue. So let's go. And yo, drop the beat. So we started out at La Bella. And if you're a Chula Vista native like myself, you already know good but what we found is that when it comes to la bella it's all about the vibe man it's all about the vibe same thing with silver dollar what we found is when you're on third in a pinch they're gonna be there for you to keep the party going we found that italianissimo trattori has got the freshest pasta in the town if you're into that type of thing and we found that third avenue l house is going to continue to let you know what's good in San Diego craft beer and the highlight of the night Kaluchi town that occupies the old Fuddruckers had this amazing shrimp empanada that was tasty as all outside and what we found with Kaluchi town is it's good and we'll be back found that farmer's table is way better than the old Marie's calendar. A fresh menu like the name implies. Uh, we tasted a pizza which was great and yo, believe it or not, that's a bomb salad right there. I think I called it great. great. <laughs> we found that Chula Vista Brewery has a really nice porter. Found that Groundswell serves pizza all day long. And yo, it's really good. And last but not least, we found that Three Punk L's is still my favorite place to kick it while I'm on third. So uh, I hung my hat up, we got comfortable, had a few more drinks before we called the Uber ride home. Yo, so for $45, we got beer, wine, liquor, appetizers, main courses, and desserts, all for about a third of what it would cost you to fill up your gas tank, bro. So was it worth it? I'll let you call it. This is KV Davey, and you know what time it is. Keep it KV, baby.